Got sweaty palms. How, how are you feeling? Good. I'm looking feeling forward great. to it. No, uh, you, no regrets. No. He hasn't done it yet. <laughs> okay, roll the opener. It is time for what caught my eye. Kane is going out on a limb. Oh yeah, uh, we're lining up talking footy somewhat because uh, Brownie bought again. Us, yeah, well Brownie bought us this with Joel Seward last year, Don't which, bring we, in, which we loved. <laughs> last year's grand final, uh, whilst Robbie Williams was doing his work, couldn't find any of our medical team, um, and we had the pre-game meeting with the coach come out and for some reason I had my toiletry bag there and I just had the feeling that I had to brush my teeth. And uh, Jed Buse was the teammate that I told and I held him to secrecy. The great stories, but then the innovation, the innovation that I saw this week was, I, I was actually jealous of how they are at the cutting edge of anal um, analytics. Let's, let's have a look at Trent Cotchin. Hey guys, Trent Cotchin here. We're going to run through a little bit about what isn't quite working for the Pies, but also how good Sydney are going with regards to their team defence and their contest wins. So in this example, we see Collingwood held up in the middle of the ground. Obviously, typically they like to go fast, but they're trying to control possession. You see Robottom uh, at the top of the screen, just in a position where he can see both his direct opponent, the threat in front of him, and the kicker. And then in the right time, he actually pushes away, uh, comes through, impacts the ball, and then they get their offense going uh, with speed on the ball. And it would have resulted in a goal had they not spoiled each other. So I want the best product here. Okay. That, I, that is, I, I want the. I want us to be at the cutting edge, and I want us to be the best. <laughs> and uh, sorry, it's a blatant rip-off, but I just had to go there. Hi guys, Kane uh, <laughs> Horns here. I just wanted to show you what isn't working for Hawthorne at the moment. Um, so let's take a look at the vision. In this example, you can see James Sicily with the football and he kicks it to his teammate and marks it. His teammate then doesn't quite know what to do, so he decides to kick it to his teammate who marks it as well. His teammate then Ward kicks the ball and his teammate marks it and they play on and he kicks it and there's another mark that he's taken wow. and then Hawthorne kick it back and there's another oh. mark and then another mark. So as you can see there, it's groundbreaking vision for more of this analysis. Stay tuned next week. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> wow. wow. TJ, well. you're up. I, what? I, take, it's, it's, yeah. it's tongue in cheek in yeah. the wrong right way, TJ. Mate, I, mate, I, I love it. I think we it's take great. We take the mickey out of ourselves. Yeah. Of course we do. Of yeah. course we do. That, um, even to the point the arm's being chopped off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, OK, now, very hard act to follow this one. But, Kane, I've got to come to you because uh, you're obviously part of SEN and you, you, you do the, the, what, the breakfast or something? A couple of times a yeah, week. Yeah, a couple of times. A couple of times a week. Yeah, Monday and Friday. What, Gary and Tim only do a few days a week. That's right, yes. Do they? <laughs> anyway, um, you don't hold back. There's, and, and you've got a view on just about everything, including all Australian selection. It's too early. It's too early for all Australian talk. It's a little oh, no. bugbear of mine. And it's already started. You do it and yourself. And I played two games. No, I don't. Not yet. <laughs> so that was you on SEN, yep. bemoaning the fact that people go too early about all right, Australian. TJ, yep. And this is you, only a matter of hours later, <laughs> the same day on the same station. If his body can hold up, you feel like he's in for a huge season. I mean, he's got eight all Australians. Is he looking at nine? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because we're talking records here. That nine all Australians would be the most ever. He would be the oh, only one. Oh, hang on. You've just he absolutely character assassinated Dan Danger Trent Cotchin. Own be, it. Own it. He would be the only one to have nine or Own strains. it. No, no, Can no, I tell you? I don't know about going, you guys. We're on the record books. My phone is going off at is the that? moment on the back of your... Is it? That's a net yeah. telling you to bring home some lunch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's gone down. Oh, yeah, uh, TJ, down. as you check your phone, um, you know that I personally and we as a collective are worried about you. You've lost your standing oh. in this organisation. <laughs> You've certainly lost your dressing room. And what it's meant logistically is that you have to take your naps in view of other people <laughs> in your building. So mm. you've lost your dressing room table. So this was during the week. And again, there's no problem with that because you are the hardest working man I know in TV. But you're having a little sleep. Now, what also is a problem here is Humphrey B. Bear is just <laughs> happens to be right next to you. We know you like sleeping with your cuddly toys. And then, this is the most disturbing part of about it. This guy's been in this building for two minutes, Tom Morris, oh. and he is taking the mickey out of you oh. having a sleep in front of staff. 
What is going I on? I think we need I to address that, a few I issues. Think you'd, just show that last photo again, just <laughs> for those that don't know. That's Tom Morris on the right and Humphreys on the left. <laughs> um, can I tell you the most demeaning thing about being kicked out of my room was that when I got back from holidays, there was a, uh, a calico bag on my chair with Humphrey in it. He'd been evicted as well. <laughs> that was the only thing we could bring over from Bendigo Street with Humphrey. <laughs> now, I'm disappointed uh, on behalf of everyone on this panel. Uh, just ring the alarm. Oh, no. oh. So this is the first insert alert of the year. And why I'm disappointed was this week was meant to be about Travis Boat. <laughs> All about oh. Travis Boat, uh, but somebody tried to turn it in about them. Like, oh. Why do we need to mention 650 uh. games between us? Like, it's not about you, it's, about, it's you about Travis yeah, Boat 350. Yeah. Then you end up presenting the present to Travis. Yep. Right? The next photo, like Travis isn't even in it. Like, it's all about you. Like, you can't even see Travis. And then in the photo, you have to suck yourself in. Like, like, Travis, so, Travis on behalf of everyone at the Sunday Footy Show, we apologise all about Travis. Okay, in fact, you're, you're probably not the only person we'll be apologising to <laughs> on the back of the school. Just on that thing, I think there's been another inserter. Oh, 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 and it's that good that I'm going to go over here oh, oh. to the big screen because Neil Mitchell is an icon of oh, radio oh, for a long, long time. And you love Neil. You love him. And so the Herald Sun asked you in the summer to write an article. The issue, Tony Jones, goodbye media legends, a tribute to Hitch and Mitch by the journo who knows oh. them best. That's you, Tony Jones. And I thought, yeah, this is going to be a great read. I can't wait to get into this. I want to know more about Neil Mitchell and what made him so good. So, <laughs> yellow is Neil. Yeah. Right? Four times. <laughs> Red is teeny, Tony, my, I, Lieutenant, me, I. It's all about you, Tony. At some stage, you needed to write about Neil. Come, Come on, on, Tony. Tony. What are you doing? Is that it? Yes. It's yeah, I was expecting funny. a few more laughs. No, 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 good stuff. Yeah, no, it's pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah. I must admit. Yeah. Well, don't you talk. You wrote one this week for the A. Don't try and deflect it. Own it. Yeah. You just told me to own it. No, well, hang on. Me, you. I... Why did you make it all about you? Why was it all about you? It's about Neil, not you. Exactly right. Your days are coming Celebrating to his career. My, my what? <laughs> my Brownie. what? Oh, my <laughs> no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Leave this. Hang on. What was that? Hang on. What did you just say? Sorry. You've lost your wardrobe. Say that again. Sorry, Say Dave. that again. Oh, that was nasty. Did you just say your days are coming to an end? I think no. we tracked that bit. Oh, no, no, I meant with your, with your, the with your dressing room. It. Take it back. Your dressing room? Take it oh. back. No, I'm not taking it back. Your dressing room. You're losing your dressing room. <laughs> Good backtrack. But your days are... You're blossoming. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to take a break. You are watching the Sunday footy show. To the Cochin family, our sincere oh. apologies.